Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here, and I am with Daniel Jury. And what I'm gonna do is put some links down below to his social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I highly recommend that, that you go to those and definitely check out his videos and his posts on Instagram. Follow him, like his videos, subscribe as well. And yeah, we wanted to address an issue, well, a concern a lot of people have with embarking on the one meal a day diet journey. And that is so many people get concerned that they're going to lose muscle mass with eating one meal a day. So we wanted to talk about why you do not need to be concerned about this whatsoever. And I'm gonna let Daniel start off first and share some things on this specific topic. If anybody told me they were concerned about losing muscle, eating one meal a day, I would tell them to absolutely not be because in fact the exact opposite will happen. You will actually gain muscle a lot easier because what happens when you fast for 24 hours is your human growth hormone spikes a lot. Um, so basically that's just going to allow you to keep muscle on a lot easier and it's going to give you um, a, a heightened um, adrenaline boost it kind of feels like like you, you will feel just very energized and very strong so if you do train if you do weight train or you do calisthenics or any sort of um, physical training at all you're gonna be able to push it that extra um, mile that extra few feet or those extra few sets or reps and pack on quite a bit of extra muscle yeah. um, as well you're gonna lose body fat yeah <laughs> and so, I mean, if you lose body fat, you're just gonna you're gonna look more muscular. Your muscles are gonna be more toned, and you'll look better overall. So yeah, and it's also the human growth hormone is known for its anti-aging benefits, and it also helps you recover quicker as well. And also, when you are fasting, testosterone levels in men go up by about 200, 400 percent. In females, around 130 percent. The longer you fast, the greater benefits you get, and the full benefits for testosterone and human growth hormone and insulin start to kick in around the 20 hour mark from what I have looked into with the scientific research that is out there on this subject. And as we know, so many people in the bodybuilding movement take steroids and instead you could be doing intermittent fasting with mm -hmm. one meal a day, which is completely free and healthy mm -hmm. with no negative side effects at all. And yeah, massively increase your testosterone naturally and that's going to help increase your muscle mass whilst reducing your body fat as well because a lot of people out there are estrogen dominant and the more estrogen you have the more water retention you have the more body fat that you gain and you lose muscle mass as well so it's going to help resolve that issue so there are two amazing reasons why and then we also have the benefits of insulin which I'll let Daniel talk about this a bit. I don't know to. much about the, okay. about the insulin okay. response. But. Okay, cool. So what happens about 18 hours into fasting, insulin starts to significantly drop. And the longer you fast, it lowers even more. And insulin is a fat storage hormone. And again, bodybuilders, especially professional bodybuilders, take synthetic insulin. But you don't want to do that as a whole host of negative side effects as well. And it's just not good for your mental health and physical health holistically so the lower that goes the less body fat you're going to store well you're not going to actually store any at all and it's also going to help with your muscle development and it also helps improve insulin sensitivity which gives you a whole host of amazing benefits as well and yeah there's also the body fat benefits right. well the body fat burning benefits right the, well, when you gain muscle, the body actually burns fat easier or at a more rapid rate. So the, the testosterone, the HGH, allowing you to go that extra mile in the training and giving you the hormonal boost to allow you to put on the muscle um, while you sleep, while you recover, um, that's going to give you the muscle and that extra muscle is going to allow you to burn more fat during the day as well as the caloric fast because your body has to you know, pull energy from somewhere. So it's gonna pull it from those glycogen stores. After the glycogen stores, it's gonna burn the fat. And then after the fat, you get into the protein and that's when you start anti-aging. That's like the panacea of, of anti-aging in my opinion. Yeah, so, so yeah, one meal a day is one of the best ways to lose weight because unlike intermittent fasting and the 16-8 method where you eat around two meals a day, 
you're only eating one meal and fasting for a longer period of time. So that is a longer duration of time that your body is gonna be burning its own body fat as fuel. Mm. So all of these amazing benefits are gonna help you gain really big muscles. Dependent on the type of training that you're doing, will give you a different physique. So whatever your goals are, you need to do specific training for your needs. And for us, we're not trying to get as big as possible. We are trying to improve our strength, our flexibility, mobility, and we do a lot of calisthenics. So yeah, we're not trying to get as big and bulky as possible. So this is why we have the body of what I would say of a pro gymnast. And yeah, you can change it with a different type of training. Like what right. would you recommend for someone if they want to get as big as possible with one meal a day? Just the typical, I mean, just focus on strength, really. Um, if Because for natural athletes, strength and size um, are, are pretty much hand in hand. Unless yeah. you're using steroids, it's not, it's not really that much of a difference. Of course, you know, to develop strength, oftentimes it's a little bit lower rep range, um, anywhere from like four reps to seven reps for strength, you know, and, and three to six sets. For hypertrophy, it's often recommended more of like an eight to 12 rep range, as most people know. And what's hypertrophy, in case people don't know? Hypertrophy, I believe, is just muscle growth. It's, it's just the, the actual buildup of, of muscle fibers that cause the muscle to get bigger. So if that's, if that's your main focus, my, my perspective is just to focus on, on getting stronger. One, because it's easier to track. You know, you um, if you're lifting weights, you can tell one week from the next you're putting more weight on the bar. Yeah. Or you you know you can do a few extra push-ups. With size, it, it varies so much day to day based on a thousand things. You know what you've eaten and and your mental state and and uh, you know how much water you're drinking. So size is is. It's harder to track on the short term. Um, long term, it's it's noticeable. But um, so yeah, I would just recommend sticking with with strength for most people. That way, you can track it. You can see progress, and you see progress, and that keeps you motivated to to go back into the gym and keep doing the work. So yeah, and what Daniel has mentioned as well, I totally agree with him. And yeah, you definitely want to be doing bodybuilding over calisthenics if you want the biggest muscles possible yeah. and you want to be doing lower reps like he's mentioned and do heavy heavy weights as much as possible and go to failure with every single exercise because that's going to tear the muscle fibers as much as possible and the more you tear them the more they grow and right. during the resting and recovery period is where you start to increase your muscle mass this is why you need to be resting as much as possible and sleeping as much as possible because Human growth hormone levels peak at around 11 p.m. when you're asleep, so you ideally want to be in bed before 10 p.m. to get to the maximum human growth hormone production benefits from sleep. And what I'm actually gonna do, because a lot of people keep saying I look emaciated or anorexic and weak and frail and skinny, I'm gonna put a quick video from Instagram here that shows me pumped at the gym literally yesterday and as you can see I have a relatively low body fat percentage I have quite good muscle development and I'm definitely noticed some significant improvement with my muscle size and yeah one of the reasons why I've started to get more muscle mass is once you get into calisthenics for example or some sort of muscle building exercise and you've got hardly any muscle you will notice within a short space of time that you will start to gain a lot of muscle rapidly but then you get to a certain point where muscle mass starts to increase a lot slower so yeah it's going to take me a lot more time to gain more muscle mass over time but i'm definitely going in the right direction and i've changed up my training massively and i will talk about this more in another video in the future not in this video so yeah, just make sure that you're consistently training on a regular basis and doing the things that we have mentioned. And I'd recommend trying to eat as much food as you possibly can within one sitting. I do not promote calorie counting or calorie restriction whatsoever. And yeah, if you're someone that doesn't want a huge body and you just want a very slim body, then do a lot more cardio based exercise. Or you could do calisthenics or bodybuilding, but with a lot higher rep range with not such heavy weights. So yeah, you need to customize your workout plan to your body goals and fitness goals that you desire. And yeah, as we were talking about the other day, a lot of people think 
it's all about the training, but it is massively about hormone production, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, the thing is, the hormone production allows you to train harder. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's that's what it's about. It's if you put in the work, if you stay intense in the gym or you know, wherever, if you if you have an intense workout and you push yourself and you and you refeed, you you give yourself good food to to allow the body to reheal or to um, repair you're gonna gain muscle that's really what it comes down to you know you can get into the science of the rep range and and everything if you really want to but ultimately I find if you if you go in and give it intensity you're gonna make gains so. yeah and it's like professional bodybuilders the things that they're taking like look how much longer they can train in right. the gym and that's the thing <laughs> with that's what that's the thing with steroids like a lot of people have this notion of steroids that you just inject this you know hormone or whatever it is and then you just get jacked that's not necessarily how it goes you you take this stuff and it allows you to work harder in the gym yeah. so you actually have to put in more work at the end of the day but it's not so it's not so hard to put in that extra work because you're just fucking hyped up yeah and that's how you feel when you do one meal a day by the end of the fast towards the end of the fast it's like we're fucking we're hyped up to go to the gym yeah. like we get in the gym and it's go time and you know we shut off the world and just kind of go go berserk beast yeah. mode for yeah a while. literally flip the, like flip the switch and go off for a while because <laughs> because the hormones you, you know like you i feel like i need to do it and i want to do it yeah so. yeah and that's it when we are training in the gym it is full-on a beast mode yeah. and a lot of time my mind wants me to quit and my mind's limitations get in the way but i just push through that and that's why a lot yeah. of people don't get the results because they're not pushing themselves hard enough I've been training some people in the gym recently, they've been training themselves, and when they go to do the workouts, I'm like, nah, you're not pushing yourself nowhere near as hard as possible. And a lot of people do need someone like a coach that can push them really, really hard. But someone like me, I need to learn to not, well, I have learned over the years to not push myself too hard, but not a lot of people are like that. So make sure that you're going all out and really pushing yourself. And it should be really, really painful on your muscles, not in a bad way, but where you're just training so hard that it's really, really like hurting you in a positive way. And it feels like you do want to quit, but you just keep moving forward and keep going forward. That is where you're really going to get the best results for increasing your muscle size. If you're concerned about um, not being able to gain muscle or not being able to keep muscle on, eating one meal a day, I would say absolutely don't be because one, you're gonna have higher HGH, you're gonna have higher testosterone. That's gonna allow you to be more intense in the gym. And as long, in my, in my opinion, as long as you're intense in the gym and you break down the muscles, you go hard, you give yourself some calories afterwards and you get adequate, adequate rest, you're gonna gain muscle, so. Yeah, it's inevitable. And then yeah, obviously all of those hormone benefits, they are right. gonna help you with that at the same time as well when you're not training to maximize your muscle mass whilst reducing your body fat percentage at the same time. And obviously the lower body fat percentage you get, it gives more of an illusion that you have bigger muscles. Right. So that's gonna help you look like you actually do. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions for either of us, as always, leave them down below and then get back as soon as possible. And yeah, this sun keeps making me squint so much, so I'm definitely gonna get some glasses because people keep saying yeah. this to me. And yeah, it's quite annoying for me as well. And yeah, please share this video with anyone that you think would like to learn about why they do not need to be concerned with eating one meal a day and losing muscle mass and how it can actually teach them in this video about why it will actually increase their muscle mass while reducing their body fat percentage at the same time. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me and also him a lot of the time as well on this channel together, which is amazing, on an everyday basis. And the videos you can expect to see on this channel are catastatics progression ones, catastatics workout videos, informational videos with one meal a day and many other different videos to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the body that you desire the fitness levels and the energy levels as well so if those type of videos sound good to you make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace